again. This is uh, part two of uh, the work on this juniper, and as I said before, we are going to repot it now. Um, this pot has a lip, uh, meaning it's doing uh, this. So, in order to get it out, I have to cut away the soil around it. So that's the first thing to do now. Okay, so let's get the tree out of the pot. And now the first thing to do is to um, clean up the surface and then the usual cleaning up of the root ball and pruning the roots. Just nicely working my way through all this root mass, little white tips meaning the tree started to grow and getting rid of the weeds nice new little roots This is the air layered uh, plant um, that I planted here to make a graft. So I have to be extremely careful not to damage the roots of this young plant. So I'm going to leave as much as possible of the soil here in order to not to disturb this uh, graft. So the old soil is removed now and we have a look at the roots at the bottom. See there are lots of feeder roots but a few thick roots. I'm not really sure where they're going but this one is loose here so this is a knob I can definitely get rid of. This is dead. So just trying to just trying to remove the big things that seem useless This is a big root too. This will gain one centimeter in the pot. Uh, I tried some other pots out but there was nothing I had here that uh, pleased me. So I think I'm going to use the same pot and maybe try to find something else for the next season. So I don't have to do a big repot then but just a 
a change of pot. I'm not going to cut any roots here. I want this tree to go to grow as much as possible in order to get this graft fixed and uh, fill the foliage pads. So it's not really show ready now, but one thing at the time. So the tree is taking a bath now and it's going to come out wet as a Belgian uh, summer day. So we're going to prepare the pot. Uh, this is already done. Now I'm going to uh, put a few wires in. And uh, not to fix the tree, but as we saw in uh, the previous uh, video, some of the branches have to be pulled down, so I'm just going to prepare a few wires to make anchor points, so I don't have to put heavy wire on the branches, and then I can delay the wiring uh, and wait for a, a better season, because now it's uh, first May today, it's first May, and this is not a good moment to start this. So I'm just going to make a few loops here and I will be able to put some guy wires. So let's finish preparing the pot, add a basic um, drainage layer and then the tree in it and so So the drainage layer is in it and uh, as a soil mix I took a basic soil mix which is uh, three parts uh, BIMS this is the BIMS All right. small uh, rocky two parts of um, just compost and then uh, this is lava rock So the tree is now in the pot and we should uh, have a look at the place of the tree in the pot. Uh, this trunk, which is the main trunk, should be quite straight. But I wonder if I should take it to the left or to the right. Well, I feel the tree is going slightly in this direction, so I'm going to leave some negative space over there. Maybe place it a little more of center like this. Let's have a look. Yes, and I have to lean it a little forward. Okay, maybe place it a little more to the center and in the back. And if I want the movement to be in that direction, maybe the tree should lean a little like so. It's important to take your time to do this because when you're wiring your tree, the position of the tree in the pot is crucial. I think this is alright. The pot is slightly too big but it will have to do for this year. Okay, let's add the soil and uh, do the mossing and you know. Hello again and uh, welcome for the second part of this um, of the work on this juniper. Uh, today I'm going to apply some guy wires. Uh, the tree has now been uh, repotted and uh, I realized yesterday I was uh, placing already one guy wire and uh, I forgot to put on the camera so uh, this branch was uh, 
more like here and now I pulled it down. Uh, I'm going to try to uh, avoid using the wires I prepared for um, for this because I have two gins here and maybe it will be uh, nicer to have uh, these as an uh, anchor point so that I can uh, remove these wires. It does not look really that sexy so okay so uh, today I'm going to use uh, some uh, stupid um, wire with green plastic on it and uh, pieces of tire to put around the branches when I bend them uh, this branch is now in a better position but should be wired a little more down like this and this I would have to do with a regular wiring but I'm not going to do this now because I'm gonna have uh, carring and maybe I wait till uh, July or August to do that but the biggest bend is already uh, done and it's gonna take the longest time to have that fixed so it's nice to, to do it now so let's do some uh, some bending okay before I start doing something I have to um, think what I'm going to do so this gap has to be filled that's done I have to fill this gap now I will use that wire for uh, that branch for that I need to fill this part and this part so I have this one and uh, this one this one is already quite nicely in position but should be wired like so I'm going to use this one to fill up this space and this one to fill up the space this one should come down a little so let's do that this is going to be a difficult one so This is the wire I'm going to need. going to bend it right in the middle. Put the tire in position. Anchor the wire. See, I'm not crushing anything. Okay, so now I can begin the bending <coughs> it's easier to grab the wire with uh, when, when it's short so just checking if it's on camera okay this uh, this is better so now I am going to pull the wire up bend the branch and then turn take the wire deeper and as you continue always remove little pieces of wire to have a better grip OK, 
okay it's time to stop now I have a little tear here see always dangerous with junipers it's sometimes better to apply a raffia but if you look carefully what you're doing and you stop when you have to stop it's no big deal so I'm going to do this for the other uh, branches now and I'll come back to you when this is done the wires have been uh, applied now and uh, as you can see uh, the main goal was to distribute the foliage uh, quite evenly now um, why is this a good idea to do this now well the growing season is about to start if you open the foliage if you open the foliage uh, rather uh, well then it means every path will have a uh, lots of sun and will grow better so it means that I will have more green uh, in uh, autumn and that I will have a better uh, possibility to um, to wire the tree maybe a little pinching here see always you think you're done and well bonsai is never done Okay, now I had to use one of these um, wires. <coughs> I'm not going to use this one, so <coughs> just gonna cut it out. And now I'm going to start mussing uh, the tree. So the tree has been mussed now. Uh, the moss is not yet green everywhere because it will take some time and um, as you can see the tree looks quite alright now it's a little thin so it's definitely not show ready but in, f in the future I hope it will become a nice bonsai I give you a 360 to um, close this video and I thank you for watching and see you next time